Sure sign is fifth best away, then look at Podunk and where the heart is is the early trailer. And Bunny Lake is going to release Eternal Camnation, Eternal Camnation, and Eric Ledford. Put her in gear and she crosses over several strides before the quarter, 26 and 1. Eternal Camnation and Bunny Lake just that way over the tunnel and into the Woodbine backstretch. Two of the world's greatest pacing mares ever. And they're 1 and 2 on the way to the halfway point. Bunny Lake is pulling on Eternal Camnation. Bunny Lake is up out of the hole for Luquillette to take the lead. Eternal Cam Nation returns the favor and lets her go. Always Cam is at the inside third. That's Remember When racing it off from fourth. Sure sign that look at Podunk and where the heart is. 54 and 2, 28 and 1 in the second quarter. Bunny Lake the leader on Eternal Cam Nation on the way to the final turn. Always Cam content to follow along in third position but Remember When makes a big sacrifice to go out first over on that final turn on her back is Sure Sign second over into the top five then look at Podunk where the heart is is trailing along the inside Bunny Lake still the leader by a clear length remember when the first over bid Eternal Cam Nation is in the box 122 and 1 they sizzled the third quarter 27 and 4 and Bunny Lake is turning it on into the stretch that's Bunny Lake by two uh, allowed to tuck in second is remember when Eternal Cam Nation back third along the inside and Bunny Lake takes it powerfully Gate to wire in the second 2004. Roses are ready elimination over Remember When. Then the next best finishers were always Cam. Look at Podunk and Eternal Cam Nation. But all the story was Bunny Lake in an outstanding 149. Just missed the track and world record by one-fifth of a second. Say she lost a shoe somewhere in the mile? Yeah, you know, uh, I just noticed in the winter circle here there was a shoe missing. She never took a bad step anywhere, and uh, we all know we need a lot of grab here. Uh, you know, great horses overcome these type of things, you know. Uh, it's just one of those things. A lot of fun to come to the racetrack and sit up behind these? Uh, I tell you what, you know, i got to be the luckiest driver in the jockey club, you know, to, to get called and to be driving the mail like that. All right, good luck with her next week. Thank you very much. Big night for Luke Willett. He's won three of the first six on the program and still six left to come. Let's head back upstairs now to Frank Salive.